How's it going everybody? Sean with Lumix USA here and I've got a really cool video to show you today on Active Track. And this is going to be about the collaboration between Lumix and DJI to directly integrate this Active Track functionality with Lumix cameras when paired with DJI Ronin gimbals. So for today's demonstration, we're going to be using my S5 Mark II X with the 12 to 60 millimeter kit lens on it. And then we will be utilizing two separate gimbals for this demonstration. The first gimbal that we're going to be talking about is an RSC2, so a slightly older model, but still completely awesome gimbal to be utilizing today. And then I will be moving on to utilizing an RS3 Pro, which is going to give you the full-fledged functionality if you were to be integrating things like the LiDAR Assist autofocusing uh, accessory with the whole setup in the Lumix line. So with that, let's jump into getting the camera rigged up onto the gimbal and then show you some demonstrations of how this works in the real world. All right, so I have the RSC2 gimbal set up here with my S5 Mark II X mounted and set up onto this gimbal. So the first thing that you're going to want to need for this, aside from the gimbal itself, is just simply the USB-C cable that comes with the gimbal. Now, all you need to do to be able to initiate the ability to control active track is connect your camera to the gimbal itself. In this case, it is as simple as plugging in the USB-C connection right onto the camera, and then connecting in to the camera control port on the bottom of the gimbal, in this case, the RSC2 gimbal. So for this, I'm gonna plug this into the RSS port, the one with the little camera icon, and then from there, all you have to do is power the gimbal on and then follow the prompt. The camera is going to connect into the gimbal and it's gonna ask you to do PC tether. So if I turn the camera around here, we can take a look and see that I have the option to select PC tether on the bottom here. Once that is selected, the camera is going to be communicating directly to the DJI gimbal and allow the control of active track. So this is a super simple way to do this if you don't want to have to go out and pick up something like the Raven Eyes accessory. Because now all I have to do is get myself into frame, make sure I'm using the full area and human detection options or animal detection options here, and just press the trigger once. And now the gimbal is set to follow me without having to actually touch anything on the gimbal. All right, so here I've got my S5 Mark II X hooked up to the RS3 Pro gimbal. Now the only difference that you're gonna see here between an RSC2 or some others is really just where the connection ports are for the camera to be connected in. So we're gonna start just like the last one. We need a single USB-C cable. First one, we're gonna plug into the camera port on the gimbal itself. Once that is connected and ready to go, just route this cable whichever way you feel best, and then plug it into the camera side. Now, once this is connected, what you're gonna have here is on the camera itself, you're gonna get a notification to say, hey, do you wanna connect to Tether? So in this case, we're gonna make sure that we select Tether for the connection. And once that Tether connection is selected, the camera is now ready to run with active track. So if I turn the camera around here, get myself roughly in frame with this, and then press the trigger, now active track is enabled, and as I move through the frame, the camera's going to follow me. So with that, let's take a look at some footage from the camera and show you how it actually looks in the real world. All right, so I've got the RSC2 set up here with the S5 Mark II X, and right now we're just in a normal kind of mode. I'm not actually using the camera or the gimbal to track anything, but I have it all rigged up, ready to go. So with Active Track, the way you engage this on the Lumix cameras is you make sure that one, the camera is set into the full area autofocus, and you make sure that you have one of the subject detection options active. In this case, I am using the human detection for face, eye, head, and body detection in our cameras. Once you have that set, all you have to do is frame the shot the way you want visually, and then just press the trigger on the gimbal, and now active track is enabled. So now as I move through the frame, 
instead of me moving independently in the frame, the camera is actually going to follow me and I can use this for getting some more dynamic looking content. This becomes an awesome tool for those that want to have really higher level execution in their content, but may not have time or the ability to have a camera operator with them to add this kind of effect to your filming.